Spencer Rattler has officially been seen at the University of Nebraska. The coaches have followed him on Twitter. Husker Nation, this is big. Welcome back to the channel though, y'all. Before we get into today's video, do me a quick favor, hit that subscription button, it helps the channel out a lot. And if this video gets 1,000 likes, I will officially open up the comment section, y'all. I've had a lot of people ask me why I have the comments off, and honestly, on YouTube, the comment sections are just so toxic, I thought it'd be better to keep them off. But if we get 1,000 likes, I'll open up the comment section for all Husker videos in the future. Let's get into today's video, though. Spencer Rattler has been seen in Lincoln. This is huge, guys. Okay, it's no guarantee that he's coming to Lincoln, but it's big that he at least has made the visit. He is considering Lincoln, and a lot of people have linked him to UCLA, Arizona State, USC. Take those off the table, guys. He's not going to any of those schools, okay? The only other school that I'm hearing that Rattler may be going to or is considering is South Carolina. Now, if I look at South Carolina and if I think to myself, does that fit for Rattler? I don't think so. If I'm Rattler and I'm choosing between Nebraska and South Carolina, I'm picking Nebraska. Why? Well, the SEC defenses are just so much tougher, and I think if he went to Nebraska, it'd be a better fit. Frost has showed in the past that even with his quarterbacks that have, made, that have had numerous uh, turnovers, a.k.a. Adrian Martinez, he will continue to believe in them and give them time on the field. Okay, Rattler was at Oklahoma last year and got benched after going 6-0. and That's crazy to me, guys. Let's look at his numbers, too. In 2021, Rattler was 140 for 187 with 11 TDs and only 5 interceptions. And in 2020, he was 214 for 317 with 28 TDs and 7 INTs. Also, keep in mind, this guy was the number one, I'll say it again, the number one quarterback coming out of high school. A lot of people had projected him to, to win the Heisman. They thought he'd go number one in the NFL draft. But for whatever reason, it didn't work out with uh, Lincoln Riley in Oklahoma this year, even though he was 6-0. and Okay, The previous year at Oklahoma, he was 9-2. The guy wins games, and he's played in huge games as well. If Nebraska could land Rattler, it'd be absolutely massive. Okay, I talked about the new offensive coordinator that they're bringing in. This guy is a pass-heavy coordinator, okay? And one thing about Rattler, the only real negative, if you want to call it that, is that he doesn't really run that much. He's 6'1", about 200 pounds, not the biggest guy. But with this new offensive coordinator, we don't really need a quarterback that's going to be able to run that much. And that's that's perfect. That's fit perfectly with Rattler, okay? Like I said, if Nebraska can bring this guy in, this is going to be huge, okay? And it'll bring a lot of momentum and a lot of hope to this program, okay? And Scott Frost, like I said in the past, his back's against the wall. He has to deliver this season. In my opinion, Frost has to win at least six or seven games to keep his job. So who knows how close Rattler really is with signing with Nebraska because I've looked at his social media, and the guy doesn't really say that much. Okay, And one thing I like about him is that even though after Lincoln Riley decided to bench him, he didn't go to social media and start running his mouth and start crying about the situation. He stayed quiet. And I think that goes to show a pretty good level of maturity from this guy. Okay, You can look at some of the stuff he did in high school and say, oh, the guy's got an ego. All top-rated quarterbacks in high school had egos, Okay, especially if you were the number one guy. You're going to have a little bit of an ego. But I think you know, he had a bit of a reality check at Oklahoma, and now he's got a bit of a chip on his shoulder, kind of like a Baker Mayfield did when he was at Oklahoma. Okay. So who knows where Rattler's going to end up, but the fact that he visited Lincoln, the coaches are following him on Twitter, is huge, guys. And I think if he comes to Nebraska, they're going to be a top 25 team, and they're going to be dangerous, okay? They probably need to add in a couple receivers, fix the old line a little bit, but 
if they could land this guy, Nebraska's going to be contending for a Big Ten championship, y'all. 